right, so I'm going to make a quick walkthrough video on the uh, Silver Eagle Model 01 diesel pusher. It has an 871, I'm sorry, an 892 uh, two-stroke diesel, but this is just the interior. Tons of storage. I believe it's a queen-size bed. Radius corners, which I believe is made for boats, so this mattress is kind of specific. You can't just pick it up in a mattress store, so if you need a new one, just kind of keep that in mind. Um, there's lighting up here. I've never tried it. I don't know if it works or not, but there's fluorescent tubes on both sides. Got an air conditioner in the back. This is going to be your uh, closed storage, and there's other storage here. You have a TV in there. You have upper lower bunk with storage underneath. Bathroom. Yeah, it's all hard surface. So that's kind of nice. You have a pocket door here, a pocket door there, and a pocket door here. So there's a pantry. Here is another storage. So these are all removable. I believe it's Corian countertops. It's pretty heavy. This is just a trash dump. There's a trash bin underneath here so that you can slide your trash into there. All leather sofas. Um, everything matches as far as the um, pieces that are on the top of it. Your dining. Overhead storage. Another air conditioner. Microwave. The stove is electric, which is kind of goofy. I don't know why it's not set up propane. Um, all the windows are dual pane. Uh, tinted. And then your driving area up here. There's another TV above us here. Um, Lots of compartments for storage. Some tile entry. So that is a quick walkthrough. Another air conditioning unit there. So three air conditioning units. Uh, everything is in really good condition for being a uh, 90s build. So everything was well thought out. All the counters match and are fitted and everything kind of jives, which is really nice. Um, there's a heating unit there. There's actually three heaters. There's a heating unit there. There's a baseboard heater and there's a rear bedroom heater. Um, trying to think of anything else that there might be. So yeah, if you guys have any other questions, let me know and I will tell you what I know. But, um, the bus has a 892 Detroit, and it has a four-cylinder diesel um, generator. And we could probably fire the generator up. Oh, I think the batteries are off. Let's see. Yep, batteries are off right now. So 180 gallons of fuel. It has 220 or 250 gallons of gray and black water storage has a hundred and eighty gallons of fresh water um trying to think of what else we've got underneath the coach it has oh there's no propane tanks currently in this unit it would sit underneath the driver on the outside and it looks like it fits probably two i would say maybe seven gallon tanks could fit under there um, I guess we could look on the outside real quick. As long as my thing keeps recording. Uh, your two steer tires are brand new. They were put on less than a year ago. Here's a little view of the outside. And I'm trying to rush because my camera likes to just randomly turn off, which makes it challenging. So that's where your propane would typically go. Um, there's your heating uh, heating unit. It's like a radiator. There's your three heaters. One, two, three, 
front and mid rear there's your hot water heater water filtration this is just storage and that closes so you have more storage more storage and a couple batteries your fresh water tank is here this storage obviously goes all the way through this is going to be this is your black and gray water tank it has a system where you hook up a hose to it and it will actually uh, run a sprinkler inside and clean the system if you are dumping it so this is one unit for black and gray so the radiator was replaced recently I believe the guy told me it was six thousand dollars for a radiator so it's got a new radiator there's the heart of the beast there's your 892 all the components there's your generator battery and we get over here to the generator there's your four cylinder diesel generator I'm trying to make it quick guys like I said sorry I just don't want this thing to stop recording on me and we get over here this is your fuel tank 180 gallons of fuel. This is just shaped like an L. We saw it on the other side. This is that sprinkler system inside to clean the tank if you wanted to clean it. So uh, 250 gallons of gray black storage. Here's your walkthrough. And more batteries and jacks. Here's more storage. And I have boxes. I've got about eight boxes of parts, belts, hoses, lights. You name it for this thing. One last compartment that is just storage and there's an extra step. So there it is. It's got an awning that runs the length of this side. Awnings over the windows, they're manual. They are not electric, obviously. So the, uh, that is the rundown on this bus. So you can kind of see what it is. All opened up. The exhaust on this, just so it, it does have a tow package. This is going to be your um, 892 exhaust. This is your generator exhaust. They put those there so it matched, but when you're driving, this one will be doing the work. So it's kind of funny looking, but uh, they wanted it to match. So it has two exhaust pipes. That one is the engine. That one is the generator. So here's one more quick look. Back here. I don't know if you can see. Let's get brighter. This is your battery lockouts. It does look like it has new shocks. You can kind of see in there. Let's see if I can turn the brightness up. Looks like it's got new shocks on it. It will sooner than later need rear tires on your tag axle and your drive axle. Uh, it's going to need six new tires sooner than later. As you can see, these are just starting to hairline crack. So that is going to be need to be addressed if you're taking it cross country. But the two steer tires are brand new and it's just starting to rain here. All right, so I got to get everything closed up. So I hope that gives you an idea of what it is, what it looks like. And if you have any questions on it, please feel free to let me know. There's more uh, fuel filtration. Oh, come on airbags kind of give you guys a look at what's under it it hasn't been somewhere where there's road salt and all kinds of rust or anything like that so hope that gives you a good idea like i said any other questions please let me know and i will uh make another video and give you the rundown of anything else you need thanks for looking take care